Hey everybody, it's Marilyn Peavy with Marilyn's Jewelry Corner. I want to talk today to you about how to upload those the your um, products to your Shopify store as one, two, three, easy as pie. So come back here and I'll show you how. It is so easy to upload your uh, new releases that you bought onto your Shopify. So join me back here in just a minute. Welcome back you guys. It's Marilyn Peavy with Marilyn's Jewelry Corner. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share you my screen and show you how I import my products to the Shopify store using a CSV file that y'all, that Paparazzi already provides us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Paparazzi website um, right here. I'm sharing you the screen. So this is an order I have not imported. So I'm, instead of clicking on the zip file, the zip file is where you get all your um, pictures from. You can uh, still do that if you want to, but this is, this already does this for you and you don't even have to put it on your computer. So I do do this from my computer. I do not know how to do it from a phone. You can play around with your phone settings and see if you can do it that way, but I do it through the computer because it seems easier for me. So you click on the order export right here that says CSV. So you click on that and you save it to your computer or wherever file you want to uh, save it to, okay? Then you go over to Shopify. Y'all, this is so simple, it's unbelievable. So you go to Shopify and what you're going to do is go to the products tab and you're going to put click on import import right here up above here and you click on it and it says add file so you're going to click on add file and you go back to where where you're at, where you stored that file and that or, that order number so you might want to remember the order number if you have several so this is, you can only do one at a time, you guys. So what we're going to do is we've clicked on that and we're, we've got replace file here. And I'm not going to click into this. I have do not know what that means. I haven't played around with it or anything like that. But I'm going to uh, upload and continue, okay? And this takes a, a, just a minute or two. If you've got more, it takes more, uh, longer. The more products you have, it takes longer. So you're going to put import products, okay? And it says where you're currently importing your products into your store. So you just wait a few minutes. I've got, this was a small order that I'm giving you. So hopefully it won't take long. But this is so simple and all you have to do is go make a little bit of adjustments in your uh, Shopify store so that now it has imported it gave me the notification that it is imported so then I go here to my filters all right I um, I uh, go to sort and I'm going to go here and go to uh, update newest first so we're going to click on that and then it shows me what I just did and it says inventory not tracked right here and so what I'm going to do it already put the description it already put the uh, the name of the product or what I, what I've got and but it does it did not put there's a little bit of tweaking that you need to do which is so much easier than um, download uh, uploading your video your um, going and copying and pasting through that's what I used to do um, and putting it in here into the Shopify so this saves a lot of time it already puts the price there if you want to put cost per item which is 275 you can if you do it that way now my SKU number I will put a different SKU number um, in there because my, uh, my SKU number is different so I'm into the 900s or the thousands, so I might put that this item as 1,001. 
I might put the, the um, if this is an earring, I will put the E in front of it. So if someone purchases it, I automatically know it's an earring. I don't mess with the weight on this or the region because I only sell to the United States anyway. All right, y'all. So let's um, finish doing, a, let's do another one. So, because um, we'll show you this side. I had to move my little picture around. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a necklace so again um, uh, you want to uh, change the skew or whatever but then over here on the other side it uh, defaults over here where it says online store you need to put cl uh, click on manage and you need to make sure if you have a, a Facebook if you have your Facebook uh, connected to your Shopify you need to click into the sh uh, Facebook so it'll connect this item to your Facebook shop and then push done so that way it automatically connects okay and then you want to scroll down some more and it automatically defaults to product type jewelry which I I put mine in category so I put this is a necklace so I'm gonna put necklace okay and then I don't mess with the collections and then you can put the tag so this is a uh, fall type, type um, necklace and let's see it is gunmetal and it is a new release so our new rival I put it under our new release tab so I click those um, tags tags is, helps people find the items and when you do your uh, categories on your Shopify store so I do not uh, see a necklace so I'm gonna put necklace and gunmetal, okay? If you don't see the tag you want in there, you can always type it in there uh, by looking at the, um, uh, this is a hammered gunmetal. So I'm gonna put hammered and see if it'll come up. And if it doesn't, you can uh, push add. So that is a, a part of somebody may search for hammered look, okay? So that, is um, how I do this and then um, I uh, make sure you uh, click on uh, the quantity where it says qu track quanti quantity and hopefully y'all can see what I did there without my picture in the way and you uh, put the quantity you got so if you don't know the quantity um, I got two of that necklace so I put two and then all you have to do is you're all ready you're finished and you just push save so that's it so you just continue uh, to continue on doing with those items all I do is I click on the uh, back button oh it didn't say why didn't it save save <laughs> There we go. So you just click on this arrow back button and it goes back. So then you can um, readjust your, uh, uh, so there it puts it, put it in stock. So I'll go back to the rest of the inventory and you continue on doing that and adjusting that on your items. And so that is so simple. You don't have to download the pictures or anything like that or the or, uh, copy and paste the uh, description and the name of the jewelry or anything like that it does it for you and it's so simple you guys and it saves me a whole lot of time so hopefully this video was uh, useful to you and if it was please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell because I do training on um, different things that you might be useful for you so anyway y'all have a great day and thanks for watching bye